if you're reviewing cell organelles and structures, we thought we'd make a video that is a quick review. Most of these are mentioned in our Intro to Cells video, but some show up in other videos. I'm going to go through them individually. Try to guess the name of each of them based on the clues I mention. Then I'll tell you the organelle or structure name. And I'm going to rate them. Rate them? What do you mean? Oh, you'll see. Uh, okay. First structure. This is something all cells have, both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. It's an external structure, really important for controlling what goes in and out of the cell, which means it is important for homeostasis. It is the cell membrane. I give it an 8 out of 10. Not very cute, but I know this thing is important, mainly because you've used the word homeostasis like over 9,000 times in our videos. Over 9,000 times? Really? Ugh, Dragon Ball Z reference, just move on. Okay, so this external structure is part of most prokaryotic cells and some eukaryotic cells, like plant cells. Really important for structure, you know, it helps the cell maintain shape and offer additional protection. It's the cell wall. Eh, I give it a 6 out of 10. Not really into walls, like more of an open floor plan. Plus, not all cells have one, and that feels unfair. You're just mad because you don't have one. I said what I said. Right then. These are in eukaryotic cells, but not all eukaryotic cells. For example, it's in animal cells, but not plant cells. These come from the centrosome. There are two of these per centrosome, so that's why I'm making it plural here. And they're involved with cell division. The spindle fibers we mentioned in our mitosis video are definitely involved with these. They are... Centrioles! Yeah, 4 out of 10. Pulling chromosomes around is kind of rude. Rude? Really? I do like that they remind me of tamales, though. Tamales. Oh, or maybe churros. Man, I'm hungry. Yeah. Okay, you find this in eukaryotic cells, but not all eukaryotic cells. For example, it's in plant cells, but not animal cells. It's all about making sugar, so it's for photosynthesis. It's the chloroplast. 10 out of 10. Total cinnamon roll. And it makes sugar? What's not to like? Cinnamon roll? What? It's a reference to... You know what? Never mind. Now this one. It's something all cells have, both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. And you know, it's kind of confusing out there with diagrams. I mean, if you want to get technical, in a eukaryotic cell, this would be everything inside the cell except the nucleus. It's the cytoplasm. And the cytoplasm has cytosol. Cytosol is the jelly-like substance part of it. And just to know, that, as well as the cytoskeleton, both support the organelles. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a 2 out of 10, because if it's everything except the nucleus, it's just extra. You're calling the cytoplasm extra. It's like highlighting a whole page in your textbook. This next structure is found in eukaryotic cells, both plant and animal cells. It has many folds, making it like a highway for materials to get around the cell, but it has other important functions, like processing those molecules. There's also more than one type. It's the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER for short. The rough ER has ribosomes that make protein, and the smooth ER makes lipids and is involved in detoxification. But they both can ship out items and vesicles to the next structure we'll mention. That's a 6 out of 10. I like organelles with a nickname, but this is a really confusing nickname. I agree the nickname can be a bit alarming. Also, it looks like a labyrinth, which could either be really fun or really scary to get lost in. So we said the ER can send assembled items to this next structure. This structure will then modify, sort, and package the materials for delivery. It's found in eukaryotic cells, both plant and animal cells, and it's a lot like a packaging facility. It's the Golgi apparatus. 9 out of 10. It's just fun to say. Golgi was actually named after a scientist. He okay, science first, please. Then you can do history. Fine. Next one. This is found in eukaryotic cells. Typically, it's stated to be in animal cells and not plant cells, but I will say there is some debate about whether these are also in plant cells. Kind of depends on the specifics of how you define this organelle. Check out our description for more on that. It usually contains enzymes. It can break down substances, digesting them. It's the lysosome. Total 10 out of 10. It's like a wrecking ball and an enzyme grenade all in one. Ugh, the stuff of nightmares for pathogens. Wasn't your last 10 out of 10 the cute little chloroplast? My tastes are complex. This next one is found in eukaryotic cells, both plant and animal cells. This makes the ATP in cellular respiration. ATP is an energy currency. So what's this one? 
It is. The mitochondrion, or plural, mitochondria. Okay, two out of ten. This one has way too many memes about being the powerhouse of the cell. All right, but it is a very important organelle ATP is needed for so many cellular processes. Fine, fine. This one is in eukaryotic cells, both plant and animal cells. This is where DNA is found in the cell. It not only houses the DNA, but it also controls the cell activities. It's the nucleus. I give it an 8 out of 10. Easy to draw, and it holds cool stuff. But you know, I'm not a fan of the plural form, nuclei. Why can't it just be nucleuses? Why must it be so fancy? But I'll move on. This organelle can be found in all cells. It makes protein. It is the ribosome. 9 out of 10. I can appreciate a creator with a solid work ethic. On that, we agree. This one can be found in eukaryotic cells, both plant and animal cells. It can store materials depending on the cell type. It is the vacuole. And in plant cells, it's usually one large one called the central vacuole. You tend to have smaller ones and several in the animal cell. Vague much? What kind of stuff does it store? Well, it could be water, proteins, waste. It depends on what type of cell. Suspicious. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. So there it is. We just went through an alphabetized list of organelles and structures. Now remember, there are more organelles and structures than what we went through, but these are some basics. Now we challenge you to pause this review video to see if you can name these structures in this animal and plant cell here. And try to also recall each structure's general function. So seriously, pause it now. Here they are. And if you need to see any of the functions, review it again in our video. You may be reviewing all of this for a quiz or a test, but we want to emphasize this matters far beyond that. Remember, these organelles and structures are what keep a cell living. And all of life is made up of one or more cells. That's part of the modern cell theory, after all. To really show the importance of organelle function, you know how the human body can have problems when an organ doesn't function as it should? Well, a cell can have a problem when an organelle doesn't function as it should and it can affect the entire organism. For example, there are diseases that can result from the dysfunction of the endoplasmic reticulum. There are mitochondrial disorders where the mitochondria are not functioning as they normally do. There are ribosomopathies from ribosome dysfunction. There are scientists working to further understand these conditions. And with more knowledge gained about these cell organelles and structures, the more potential for understanding how to best treat conditions when they are not functioning well. Well, that's it for the Amoeba Sisters, and we remind you to stay curious.